Nurturing Tribe Part 2 There are five things to consider when nurturing your tribe. These are the most important things to consider when you're first building, building, building your tribe and to keep them happy and engaged. So let's go with number one. Number one is produce for them exclusive content. So that's always a big bonus. Like I said previously, your large wide net audience gets one particular type of content and then your tribe gets a almost like a higher level piece of exclusive content just for them. Number two, you can host a weekly Q&A. As an example, if your business, your business is yoga or fitness orientated, maybe at the start of a week, you can do a live demonstration workout on literally live Facebook video only to your tribe. And then at the end of the week, do a Q&A session off the back of that. What challenges were people facing? And you could do a live Q&A and answer their questions directly. Thirdly, you could host an interview. You could bring on somebody who's even a greater expert than you prove that you have an affiliation with other experts and interview this person purely, specially for your tribe. Now there's a fourth thing that I really like is, and this is a way to leverage both worlds, to leverage your audience and get their attention and benefit your tribe, is to release content, educational valuable content into the tribe first and then maybe with a delay, maybe a 30 day delay, and I know some content creators even wait a year that once that, um, once that piece of content, educational content, has been enjoyed by the tribe, they then share it for free out into the world. So there's almost a delay and a release date. Um, think about a, a cinema viewing. Um, there's a, uh, an early viewing for raving fans, for tribe members, for people who want to see it first, and then it gets shown to the public. So think about releasing content to them early. And finally, the thing we've spoken about is keeping the group safe. Your biggest raving fans within the tribe will really, really appreciate this. There's going to be a handful of people who don't like the rules and policy. That's fine. They can leave. That's okay. Because your goal is to keep them focused on you, your business, and ensure they are happy and engaged. So keep in mind these five points and you cannot go wrong when you start to nurture your tribe and ultimately keep them happy and keep them focused on you. Thank you.